Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here, photographer in Manhattan for the last 50 years. This is photo class number 236. Let's do it. Okay, as you can tell from the title, we're talking about the Nikon D50. Guys, this came out in 2005, April 20th to be exact. It was a thousand dollars. This D50 has, hold on to your britches, the most beautiful CCD sensor ever made. It is absolutely gorgeous. When I bought this camera in 2005, I paid $999.99. Okay. <laughs> the CCD sensor in here is just incredible. It's a very, CCD sensors compared to CMOS sensors are very expensive to make. Look at this slide. You could pause it if you want. Uh, you can go back and pause it if you want. It explains how CCD sensors in these older 2005 Nikon D50s are exceptional. Don't forget, in 2005, the dawn of digital cameras and sensors was really, it was in its infancy. So the sensor manufacturers look to the film manufacturers for the color coding, the code, C-O-D-E, the coding, um, how they should be proportionalized. This is all engineering. It's above my pay grade. Okay, let's keep going. So I know you guys want to see the images that this produces. I'm going to tease you right now with one. Uh, it's an eight the Nikon D50 has an APS-C size sensor. Now what that means is that it's smaller than a full frame. So that means it has a crop factor. Every lens you put on it like this Nikon Nikkor 55 millimeter F 2.8 micro lens has a, a lens a crop factor. Okay. That means that the focal length, you times it by 1.5. I'm going to show you one more photograph because I just love the way that these photographs came out. Here's another one. Okay, so uh, the stats. I'm going to put a slide up uh, with the stats that you can pause and read it at your leisure. All right, but let, right now I just want to go over the, the specs that I, as a photographer, require I'm required to know this stuff before I go out shooting like I did this morning here in the city all right ISO what's my ISO range on a camera like this it's great 200 to 1600 okay the all the photos there's only like five the photographs that I shot uh, for this video that I'll put up here and there I shot all the same Aperture priority, F8. Uh, ISO, 400. Okay. I shot all of them, uh, all these photographs, I shot them all the same. Okay. I kept it aperture priority, F8, and ISO 400. All right. So the maximum shutter speed is 1 4,000th of a second, which is fine. Uh, now here's where you really have to know this stuff. Pay attention. If you are thinking about getting this, um, a model like this, the Nikon D50. Okay. Number one, they were a thousand bucks. They're on online and all, whatever, wherever you buy your used camera equipment. All right. I'm not giving any, any store or auction site a shout out, they go for about 30 bucks, okay? The SD card has to be one of the original 
uh, SD cards, meaning it's not super fast. This is your basic, like this card right here, right? This is a Vivitar. I would never buy a Vivitar uh, SD card, but I happen to have it. It's very, it's older, right? It's slow. And the max is two gigs, a two gigabyte SD card. All right, keep that in mind. If you buy an Icon D50, right? It's compatible with a two gig max. So you might be wondering, right? You put, it has one SD card slot on the side with a locking door. So I went out shooting this morning with this combination, right? The Nikon D50 was 30 bucks. It came with a battery and a charger also, I should say. And the Nikon lens, right? The 55 F 2.8 micro. Nikon calls their macro lenses micro. They can, they can pull in anything they want. Super sharp lens. Now, you're not crazy. If you heard me say the camera was 30 and you're not crazy when I, you think I say this, the lens was a hundred bucks. It is the right thing to do to put your money in the glass, not the body, because the lens is what you're going to notice. Like in this photograph. You see what I'm talking about? The sharpness of that photograph, of that close-up, of that ma macro photograph came from the lens. So you put your money, and it's not a lot of money, these lenses, these 55 to 8 micro lenses from Nikon, these sold, when these came out, for 1800 bucks. Okay? Now, let me keep going. Oh, and by the way, it's the one with the uh, aperture ring, okay? They've made modern ones of the 5528. You don't need it with the Nikon D50. Get it with the aperture ring on the, on the base of the lens, okay? It's autofocus, don't worry. Okay, let's keep going. So for 100 bucks and 30 bucks, for $130, right? You've got yourself a system, a lens, and a body. You've seen the photographs that I took with this today, okay? Uh, a few more things. How old is uh, how heavy is this? It's about a pound and a half, just the body and the battery, right? And then you add whatever weight on for you, whatever lens you put on. Now, here we go. We're, this is the 25th time I'm going to explain this to you guys. Pop up flash for fill flash. Okay, if any of you guys out there are saying to yourself, oh my gosh, why is he showing us a pop-up flash? I'm never going to use it. The shadows are too harsh. Pay attention, but I'm going to show you. Take off the slide that protects the hot shoe. Go to Amazon. I'm going to put a slide up for this product. This is pop-up flash diffuser. I get no kickbacks. This is not that kind of channel. This is a teaching channel for you to learn photography. You take this diffuser and you slide this end into the hot shoe. Done. Pop up your flash. Let me see if you can see it. You pop up the flash. Now the flash shoots from here through the diffuser and gives you incredible diffused gorgeous light for portraits this is what you want to use on the nikon d50 or any camera canon nikon olympus whatever that has a pop-up flash you want to use pop-up flash diffuser. Okay, now let's keep going. 
put your little uh, hot shoe protector back on. And there's a reason these come with protectors. You don't want water going in here because that's a direct line into shorting out your camera if water gets into your hot shoe. Okay. Done. Now, I want to show you this photograph and then I'm going to tell you a secret on how I took it. Okay, now, with the $30 Nikon D50 and the $100 Nikon Nikkor 55 f 2.8 micro lens, I'm going to show you the secret to that photograph. All right, hold on. Hold on, let me get it set up. And the secret fits into my hand. Here's the secret. The secret is this Ulanzi LED light. I paid for it, okay? It's a handheld rechargeable light that fits in the palm of your hand, okay? And I take this out with me. By the way, that's on low power. You can just keep going higher and higher and higher. Hold it down and it goes off. This is my secret to macro photographs. There's portable lights like this. This Ulanzi, right? It has a, a port in the back, right? Where you recharge it. Okay. It has a port in the back, like a regular cell phone, right? It has an indicator light to show you when it's fully charged. I put this on here. It comes with multi multi-colored uh, lenses. All right. I just keep this, the uh, soft, the soft box uh, filter on it to spread out the light and make it nice and even. Now, I'll show you that photograph again. Okay, I'm looking at it up on my screen. That photograph of that bud, leaf, whatever you want to call it, I held the camera this way. Now, the, this is a, a, a macro lens. So that bud was only about an inch or two away from the lens. This light, right, I turned it on. I put it up like second power and I backlit it this way. I put the light behind that leaf, okay? And it lit it up, bang. Okay, you can you can use this any way you want because it's so little and so light you can hold it above the lens on the side of the lens from underneath I've taken many pictures of macro uh, close-ups backlighting it from underneath have a ball okay. I've gotten two emails two of the kindest nicest emails uh just yesterday it was i don't know saturday and it was so polite can we see the um your first magazine cover that you shot people are interested of course nikon d50 ccd film like sensor 30 bucks or thereabouts online the nikon 55 millimeter f 2.8 micro lens you have about 130 dollars worth of gear here and don't forget subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up comment below and email me black and white photo at aol.com and i'll answer any of your photographic questions all right